JFT just fair and direct. Good morning everyone and welcome to JFD's daily market review for March the 20th. I am Haralambos Pissuros, Senior Market Analyst here at JFD and I will talk about yesterday's main market movers, what's my opinion moving ahead, what are today's important events and how they could affect the markets. But before we start, uh, let's read our disclaimer first. The content we produce does not constitute investment advice or investment recommendation, should not be considered as such and does not in any way constitute an invitation to acquire any financial instrument or product. I will leave you a few seconds to read the rest and then we will jump into our analysis. Okay, today we will talk about uh, the calmness in the financial community uh, we saw yesterday following further easing measures by more central banks. We will talk about the oil price, which the oil prices which uh, rebounded on Trump's hints to intervene and stabilize uh, prices. Uh, as well as we will also discuss the dollar's retreat after the Fed decided to supply via swaps nine additional nations with uh, dollars. Uh, however, despite the somewhat uh, improvement in, uh, in risk appetite, coronavirus cases and deaths continue to hit records. Now, as for what we get today on today's calendar, uh, we only have Canada's retail sales for January and the US existing home sales for February. As always, let's start with the performance of uh, the greenback, which retreated, which retreated against all but three of the other G10 currencies on Thursday and during the Asian Morning Friday. It lost the most ground against uh, NOC, Aussie and uh, Kiwi in that order, while it decked, it de it decked out some gains versus uh, the Euro, the Swiss franc and the Yen. Now, the weakening of uh, the safe havens and the strengthening of the risk-linked currencies suggests that uh, risk aversion is somewhat yesterday. Indeed, turning our gaze to the equity markets, we see that major EU and, U and US indices rebounded uh, somewhat with the calmness rolling into the Asian session today. China's Shanghai Composite uh, gained 1.61%, uh, while Hong Kong's Hang Seng and South Korea's KOPI KOPSI advanced 4.25% uh, and 7.44% respectively. Japanese markets were closed due to, due to the vernal equinox uh, holiday. The relative calmness may have been the result of further easing measures by more central banks, including the Bank of England and the Norges Bank. The Bank of England decided to cut further its benchmark rate by 15 basis points to 0.1% and noted that it will increase it will increase its holdings of uh, government bonds, which means restarting quantitative easing. The Norges Bank also reduced, uh, reduced rates by 50 basis points to 1%, adding that it is prepared to make further rate cuts if uh, needed. Officials also noted uh, that they stand ready to intervene and lift the crown, a move uh, not taken by this bank in more than 20 years and it comes after the currency's 30% uh, tumble against uh, the US currency, which apart from, from uh, a stronger dollar was also fueled by the free fall in oil prices. We also had an SMB policy decision, but this bank refrained, refrained from touching its already low interest rate of uh, minus 0.75%. As we have been expecting, officials just uh, strengthened their intervention language, noting that they will intervene more strongly in the FX market. They also added that the franc is now even more highly valued. The Swiss franc was among the main losers uh, yesterday, uh, as apart from the broader market calmness, the SNB may have already been stepping up its intervention on practices uh, to keep the currency from strengthening uh, further, and this is evident by the sharp uh, increases in total site deposits uh, week by week. Now back to Norway and the Krone, the currency was the main gainer despite the 50 basis points cut by the Norges Bank. It could be due to the intervention warnings, but also due to the rebound in oil prices. 
both uh, bread and WTI gained 14.43 and 23.81 percent respectively after US President Trump hinted that uh, the US may initiate efforts to support uh, to support prices at an appropriate time the Trump administration is considering pushing Saudi Arabia to reduce production and to sanction Russia uh, to force them to do the same the black liquid may have also been supported by US plans to buy oil for emergency stockpiling so the US the US's attempts may keep prices uh, supported for a while but we doubt that they will be enough to offset the demand uh, shortages due to the outbreak of the coronavirus thus we would treat any further recovery in oil as a corrective move of the broader steep downtrend now back to the currencies and uh, the US dollar uh, its pullback may have been the result of the Fed's decision to supply via swaps nine additional uh, uh, central banks with uh, with dollars the Fed said that uh, the swaps will allow other central banks to tap up to a total of uh, 415 billion US dollars in order to ensure that the US dependent financial system will continue to function having said all uh, all that though we stick to our guns that equities may have not hit a bottom yet and that the dollar may have not reached a peak we repeat for the upteenth time that the worst may not be behind us yet the coronavirus continues to spread at an exponential pace with uh, new deaths and cases hitting new records uh, yesterday and we can see that by this graph which uh, represents the new cases and deaths per day on an absolute value uh, namely, we had 26,111 uh, new infections and uh, 1,080 new deaths. We believe that the economic wounds uh, could continue to deepen and that investors may soon abandon again risk assets in favor of safe havens. And even more in favor of US dollars, which ap appears to be the refuge in extremely turbulent market conditions. With uh, the CBO the CBOE volatility index, the VIX or fear index, as it is known, uh, with the VIX hovering around the 2008 uh, crisis peak, no one can doubt that the phase we are going through at the moment is a turbulent one. In order to change our view, we would like to see headlines that a vaccine is ready for distribution to the whole world. Now, as for today's events, from Canada, we get uh, retail sales for January, while in the US, we have the existing home sales for February. Canada's uh, headline sales are expected to have risen 0.4% month over month after, stag after stagnating in December, while the core rate is expected to have declined to 0.2% month over month from 0.5%. The US existing home sales are forecast to have rebounded 0.8% after sliding 1.3% uh, in January. So that's it from me. Thank you very much for watching and, uh, and listening. Uh, for those who are interested in learning about the main events of the week much earlier, you can subscribe to the weekly Market Outlook webinar, which I'm hosting every Monday at 8 o'clock a.m. GMT time. You can find the link in the description below. So goodbye from me. Have a great day and a greater weekend. JFT, just fair and direct.